I loved my mother so much when I was a kid. I just, I just adored her. I assume all kids adore their mothers. I don't know. I, I know I did. And she was like a goddess to me. I just thought she was so great and glamorous and beautiful and charming. And I don't know. I just thought the world of her. And we had a really close connection, I, I think. I, I mean, maybe too close. She was, she meant too much to me, maybe, or I don't know. But at a certain point when, my parents got divorced and she kind of had a nervous breakdown, like everything changed. And I don't know, it was like we were symbiotically bonded and then we were torn asunder like overnight. And I was sent to boarding school and it was just never the same again. And I started to like see her as flawed and critical and vain and just didn't agree with her values anymore. And maybe they changed, but we went through a very hard period where I didn't invite her to my wedding, my second wedding. And she was really hurt by that. But I just didn't want her there. I didn't want, I didn't want to see her at my wedding. I was mad at her. And I really just wanted her to like be curious about me and want to know me. And she wasn't, like she never was. And she wanted to know how much money I was making. <laughs> and she wanted to know if I was okay, but she didn't want to know anything else. She didn't want to see my films. She didn't want to hear about my problems. And if I would tell her about my problems, she would say very judgmental, critical things that made me not want to tell her anymore. But I know she loves me in her way that the only way she knows how to love, and mostly it just means she makes me food when I visit, and she likes it when I visit. She wants me to visit more. But I don't like visiting that much because I get really depressed because I want her to want to know me. And she doesn't want to know me. She seems to, she seems to be maybe scared of me or scared of, like, I, I'm sure she's listened to this podcast and I wouldn't want her to because I think it would upset her. So we have this kind of very ritualistic relationship where I call her once a week and we talk amiably and in a friendly, civil way. And there's affection there, but there's no communication except just to say, I love you. I love you too. And, and that's it. That's really, there's nothing else. And I tried for years to change that, but I eventually just gave up. And I just tried to accept that she's the way she is and can't give me what I've always wanted from her, which was just interest, <laughs> just a gaze of interest and of appreciation. And I think the lack of interest and appreciation has colored everything about me and explains everything about me. But I love her and she loves me. And yet we have like almost nothing in common and can't communicate at all.